Trying to host a Minecraft server nowadays is a little bit on the pricey side, but I think I found the solution for you guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Essentials mod for Minecraft, where you can host Minecraft worlds for absolute free and even integrate mods if you'd like to to play with your friends. Let's get right into this tutorial. If you do enjoy, make sure to subscribe. All right, we're here on my desktop, and the first thing you guys are going to want to do is head down in the description and click the first link. It's going to take you to this page, which is the home of the Essentials client website. The download button is here presenting you right as you come onto the main website and all you want to do is click download and it will start downloading to your pc and when it's loaded up it's going to come up with this page which is the essentials installer so you want to click get started you want to click and select your launcher personally i use minecraft launcher and that's the easiest way i do it but you can do it through curseforge if you're a curseforge type geese and you can also do prism launcher as well i'm not sure what prism launcher is but whatever you desire feel free to select either three of these and i'm going to go for Minecraft launcher here all my previous installations I've used in essentials with and I'm going to click new installation and you can select from which mod loader you like and what micro version and you're ready to go just to show you guys how this works I'm just going to call the installation name video I'm going to do for neo forge 1.21 I'm just thinking stuff off the top of my head I'm going to I'm going to click create and install essentials it's going to download the Minecraft libraries for me and install it for me all in the background and all I have to do is load up the Minecraft launcher after this and I can drag and drop the mods and be ready to play the game. As you can see here, it says installed. It's installed the version and the installation for me on the Minecraft launcher. And you can either head to the Essentials Discord if you please to, or you can do another install. And I'm gonna show you where it's located right now. To locate the Essentials folders and the installation, it's pretty much in the same area as your Minecraft stuff in. So click Windows R, go to percent update a percent, click OK. And then you want to go down to Minecraft, which should be dot Minecraft down the bottom. And then it should say essentials somewhere, essentials underscore mod in this folder right here. You want to click that, go to fabric or forge or whatever one you had. And all of your versions will be in there. What you installed, I'd head to forge 1.19.2. Here's my from the from the fog series that I did. And the mods folders here and, and all the other minecraft directory is here just as usual you can put in shader packs texture packs you can edit the config options it's all here and quite easy to find and use to be honest once you have sorted out your stuff in your minecraft directory as what you need to do head over to the minecraft launcher and once you're on the minecraft launcher head over to the installations tab my games ooh, my clients decided to update as I was saying, once once you're on the Minecraft launcher, head over to installations and you can just hit play and it will load up your game. Now your game is up and you're on the Minecraft home screen and you've successfully got your mods loaded. I'm now going to show you how you can host your world for absolute free using this client to your friends. The first thing you've got to make sure though is make sure your friends do have the exact same mods as you and they're on the exact same version. This is the only way it's going to work because you're going to be hosting a LAN world. So if you have in incompatible mods, you're not going to be able to join each other and play with the same mod versions. So make sure that is right before you go ahead and proceed. The first thing you want to do is you want to head to the social menu on it and you want to make sure you have your friends added on this client. As you can see, I've got a couple friends here. I haven't got many, but I've got a couple. Once you and your friends have added each other and you're ready to play, make sure you Head out of this, go to your single player world, select any world. So I'm going to use this this uh, horror snow world that my friend, me and my friend recorded a video on once. And it will show up all of your essentials installations here. All of mine are here. So for example, the one I pointed out in the folder from the, po from the pog frog, from the frog. Yep, that's the name of it. As you can see here, I'm in my world. And once you are in your world, you can hint instantly hit escape and you're, you want to hit invite. You can select all the world settings you want and configure them whether you want people to have cheats what difficulty and what game mode you want them to spawn in whatever whatever hit next and then you can simply invite your friend i'm going to invite my friend sam for example unfortunately he's not going to join because all my friends have lives and i don't the point is now you've invited your friend to your world he should get an invite on his screen he'll click accept and he'll join and you can together play any modded minecraft or vanilla minecraft world but absolute free do keep in mind that this is hosted off of your internet so if you don't have good internet your friends that might join you might lag a little bit and if you lag out your friends will lag out too obviously you knew that but i'm just telling you for the for the warnings and yeah that is exactly how you can host multiplayer minecraft for absolute free 
using Essentials Client and how to install Essentials Client. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys subscribe. Comment down below what tutorial you want me to do next. I'm bashing out these tutorials like crazy. We're going crazy right now. We're very close to 500 subscribers, so make sure you sub up. And yeah, take care guys. Peace.